Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss one important problem from Dirac Delta function uh, involving the Laplace transform of the uh, derivative of Dirac Delta function, right? So here we have to find the Laplace transform of the second derivative of Dirac Delta function that is uh, Delta double prime of T, right? So let us start. So let us first take the definition of a Laplace transform of a function, right? Suppose uh, we have a function say f of t and the Laplace transform of this function f of t is defined by this integral uh, that is 0 to infinity e raised to minus uh, s times t and f of t uh, dt. Right? where s is a parameter uh, which may be a real number or complex number. Right? So here uh, what we will do, uh, we will take f of uh, t as the second derivative of Dirac delta function that is delta double prime of t. So we have now the Laplace transform of the second derivative of Dirac delta function as the integral 0 to infinity and here we have e raised to minus s times t and f of t is now delta double prime t and here we have dt right so to calculate this uh, integral uh, we have to make use of one uh, important property of Dirac delta function uh, involving the derivatives of uh, delta function so viewers, uh, we know an important property of Dirac delta function which says that uh, the integral minus infinity to infinity and if we have some function here uh, say phi of x and here we have delta and nth derivative at x minus a dx then this integral uh, is equal to negative 1 raised to n and the nth derivative of this function uh, phi x at the point uh, x is equal to a, right? So we have this important property of delta function where we have the integral minus infinity to infinity. Then we have a function phi of x and here uh, this n denotes the nth derivative of the Dirac delta function and here we have x minus a then the value of this integral is minus 1 raised to n and the nth derivative of this function uh, at this point a, right? So here uh, to evaluate this integral, I uh, will make use of this property. So now uh, let us rewrite this integral as 0 to infinity e raised to minus s times t and delta double prime and here we have t minus 0 because t can be written as t minus 0 and here we have dt, right? So now uh, here uh, the double prime uh, shows that we have the second derivative of delta function. So the value of uh, n is equal to 2, right? And this function uh, may be taken as this one that is uh, phi of t is equal to e raised to minus s times t, right? So here uh, we have the integral in x variable, here we have in the t variable, right? So phi of t is given by uh, e raised to minus s times t and this is the value of a. So a is equal to zero, right? So now the value of this integral is equal to a minus 1 raised to n. So here we have minus 1 raised to 2 and we have the second derivative of uh, phi of t at this point a, a is 0, right? So minus 1 square is uh, positive 1. So we have phi and second derivative at this point 0. So let us find out the second derivative of phi of t. So the first derivative is phi prime of t, which is e raised to minus s times t. And by chain rule, the derivative of uh, minus st is given by minus s because the derivative of t is 1. 
so we have minus s e raised to minus s times t right now the second derivative can be obtained by again differentiating this function so we have minus s and then we have the derivative e raised to minus s times t so we have minus s and here the derivative of e raised to minus s times t is minus s e raised to minus s times t so minus minus uh, multiplied together becomes positive so we have s square and e raised to minus s times t so now taking a t is equal to 0 so we have uh, uh, phi uh, double prime uh, at 0 is equal to s square e raised to minus s times uh, 0 so we have s square times e raised to 0 because s times 0 is 0 and e raised to 0 is 1 so we have s square times 1 is equal to s square right so where's the laplace transform of delta double prime t is equal to s square right so this is how by making use of the concept of Laplace transform and the properties of Dirac delta function, uh, we can evaluate the uh, values of uh, these expressions.